Hi, my sweeties. Happy Saturday. I hope you're all doing well. And thanks for coming to my channel. And I'm here for our Saturday morning makes, uh, hosted by Chill Norwood. Anybody can join. And you can put it up on Instagram or Facebook or here on YouTube. And it's so much fun and very, very inspirational. <clears throat> so I wanted to show you what I've made. So let's get started. Uh, I used these little gingerbreads. I've had them for, I don't know, a year probably. It's from Hobby Lobby, and I think that's something that always comes back. I used this uh, string. Uh, that's I got this from Hobby Lobby just this year. It was 60% off all Christmas, 60% off. I got these buttons from Walmart. And they've gone up uh, very high, but you know, everything else has, so it's all right. And, oh, uh, hold on, I didn't get, okay. I didn't get my stuff ready. I'm very tired, not getting much sleep. And quite frankly, I'm tired of being tired, but that's all right. So I used these snowflake, uh, snow, snowflake, uh, bows and they are from Scrap Diva and I think I got them last year because this year I saw she has this in several sizes in one packet you know uh, you buy it just one time and you have several sizes and I only got this size and that makes me think I got it last year I used this from Scrap Diva. This is the Advent's House, and this is the medium size. The small has one window, so just one story. This is the medium with two, and the large has three windows. And I also used, let me think now, I used... This is separate. You have to buy that separate. And these are roof, uh, like roof tiles. I use this one, I think. No, I use this one. This one right here. Maybe you can see better here. And I use this one. So I got two different roofs. Um, I use this. Did I? No, I didn't use this. Yes, I did use that. I used a little tiny bow. And these are the mini bow dies. And this is the number. I hope you see it. Oh, my goodness, I used this. I just used the die. It comes with stamps. I didn't stamp, uh, I think I might have, yeah, I used one or two of the little tiny stamps, but I mostly used just this. And that comes together. That's also from Scrap Diva. Uh, no, that's from Creative Time, and so is this. Uh, the bows is from crea My Creative Time, and so is the spatula. I love this, and I'll tell you about it when I show it to you. I used these, uh, again, the little ginger boy and girl from my creative time. Did I? You guys, I'm so sorry. Yes, I did. Oh, I got this from Scrap Diva. These are the candy cane uh, letters. And it's a set of two, of course, because you get the solid and then you get the ones that you cut out to layer. Very, very nice set. I love it. And it's a nice size. It's not too big and not too small. I used the envelope. What is it called? Sweet. No, I didn't. Hold on. Sweet heart envelope, something like that. Yeah, I didn't. Yeah, I forgot to cut off the, the name of the die. But anyway, it's on her website. And it comes in two sizes. It comes in this. And in this, and I used 
the bigger one. Okay, I used the Peachy Keen um, Princess Face Assortment. And this is the number. And I think they're on, uh, I think Peachy Keen is on Etsy, right? Yeah. And I used PK3000 Jill's favorite stamp set also. The little faces. Can you see? Maybe I should turn the light on. Hold on a minute. Uh, okay. Here we go. This is what I've made. First, I want to show you the spatulas. I totally stole this idea from our chill Norwood. When I saw this, I fell in love and I wanted to make them uh, for my own tree. And that's exactly what I did. Look at this. I totally copied her, by the way. Look at this. There's the peachy keen faces. And this is the frosting. Here is the little bow dye from, is, uh, is it Scrap Diva or My Creative Time? It's My Creative Time, yeah. And here's another little bow. And there I use little tiny buttons. And these are those, mm, I didn't pull it. These are those shaker bits that you buy at Walmart or online. And I put that there and there just uh, to give it some dimension a little bit and some color. So this is my first one. I'm not going to show you all because I have a whole little bucket full. Look at that. Look at that. I used this and I used my Creative Time paper pad on this one. You see, I cut it out with the house there. And there I used a little stamp. And there's the little button again and the bow. I loved making this, and these are three layers actually, because there's the buttons I used, because um, I wanted it very sturdy for my tree. Plus this year I'm scared to put up my tree. It's small, but still, because Buddy might get on it, because he's you know he's a doofus. He gets on everything. But anyway, yeah. So I made them very sturdy, and the reason I made short green. Uh, little hangers is because I wanted to put it on the Christmas hook thingies, not funnel it through a branch. That's too hard for me. And so I made it shorter to put it on the hook thingies and I made it green. So it sort of kind of disappears into the tree. So all of these are green and short. And there I used stamps. And a, this is actually from a little, uh, from a very, very old um, AliExpress set, that little holly thing. I have other hollies, American, well, I don't know if they're American made, but you know from C6 and Momenta and stuff, but they were all too big, so I had to get this one. So there is the, also the paper. This might be last year's Scrap Diva. I don't know. I mixed it together. I mixed my creative time pad with the Scrap Diva uh, paper pad because they're so similar and they were all off the spine. So, you know, I, I put them all together in a baggie. And there I cut out. Now, this is from my creative time paper pad and I cut out the little char on this. And I made so many, you, you'll see. Um, and there's a little cookie I found in an old uh, AliExpress uh, die set. And at first I thought I wanted to use that here, but the cookie was too small because I wanted it put together right here. That would have been cute, but it was just too small. Yeah. Yeah, so there's another one. I mean, I just made so many. It's, I can't show them to you all. I'll be here forever. So then I made the little uh, envelopes, and I got this tutorial from Carol's Craft Cottage because she made them into little boxes. 
And she's, she's got it up on YouTube, of course. That's how I saw it. So you must go over there and watch it. It is so cute. So first I make this one. And I just put a bow. There's that snowflake bow from Scrap Diva. And this paper is my creative time paper. And see, she gives you the measurements for this. So that's what I needed. And I, that is just, I don't know what I'm gonna put in there, maybe tea or, or little candies or something, but it's just too cute, isn't it? And I hung the little chingles that I got from, um, I'm not in sensor again. I don't, uh, the little chingles and a little Christmas tree charm on the side. Yeah, they're cute. And they're also so much fun to make. And this, I made more to, I think I might have to do more traditional than the pastel, the cre creative time in Scrap Diva, because I'm going to give it away, right? And not a lot of people or, you know, are into pastel, except for us crafters into pastel Christmas. So I made some um, uh, traditional Christmas ones. And there is that Hobby Lobby ginger. And this, I had uh, a couple of them, and I used them. This is from Hobby Lobby. This is very old also. And here's the candy cane letters from Scrap Diva. Uh, so cute. So, so cute. And there I put on one of those rusty jingle bells and a uh, a little tiny jingle bell. And what is that? Gingerbread man. And the paper is just a, a loose sheet. I think I got this paper actually from Tina Bean in a Happy Mail. So if I did, thank you, Tina Bean. And here's that string I bought at Hobby Lobby. I like this a lot, actually, that string. And here's the other traditional one I made. Again, just a paper and shingle bells and gingerbread and the same flower or poncetta in red and the gingerbread. Yeah. They're so cute. So, so cute. I guess I could put give some of these away, right? and put them in here maybe hold on like this what would that what would that be that's that's sort of cute wouldn't it be i tried you know the little tags i cut out from the my creative time paper pad uh i tried putting them in there to give give them away um because they're gift tags and i don't need any this year but they're too tall. They're too tall for this. Here's a bunch of letters I cut out uh, with that, but they're all the same because that's the colors I use, the traditional colors, so. And here is the Advents houses. And I haven't, I, I want to get, I mean, you can, uh, you can actually cut these off if you don't want them and glue this together, right? But whoever I give it to might want it as a decoration if they have, or um, I mean, as an ornament. And also it's easier to get into when you put your little gifts in there if this isn't glued together, right? So I wanna get some white, tinselly uh, chenille stems. And all I have is the red and white ones that you saw that you saw my buddy eat <laughs> the other video, the video before this, buddy was getting into them. Yeah, so I wanna get some chenille stems that is white with maybe some silvery or whatever uh, tinsel in it and cut the chenille stems a little in half and then put it through here. Anyway, this is that roof, the roundish one, and I staggered the colors there is the snowflake bow again. I put a little tiny gem in there. And this is the little house. And there I used one of the phrases from my creative time, I think, or Scrap Diva. 
I put one of the little gingers from my creative time on here. Oh, and I put that mylar or whatever it's called in the windows. Yeah, they're fun to make also. And this is the side. I didn't do anything on the side. And this is the, which one did I show you? Did I show you the one with the, there's one with the candy cane, right? And this is the other one without the candy cane. Yeah, I showed you this first. So this is the one with the candy cane. Uh, this is a little tiny, also old die set from AliExpress. And that was just a good size for the little one to use. Yep. That's this one. And this is my last project. And they're pretty much the same. And there I used that square uh, or rectangle sort of kind of roof. And again, I staggered the colors, and I got a blue uh, bow. And I put this a little tiny snowflake that comes with it. I think it's meant to go in here, but when you do, it sort of kind of bends. So I put some of them on the bow. See, we, when you put it up here, see, it's sort of kind of um, squished in. So anyway, and here I did the... Um, this is from my creative time or Scrap Diva. I don't know which right now. And this is a paper and I just cut them out, fussy cut them and backed it uh, on heavier paper. And this is the thing again from AliExpress. Yeah. And there I did the same just with the blue candy cane. And of course, left the sides again. So all I need to do now when I do get out, it's very cold here and it's hurting my body. But when I do get out, I wanna find those white uh, glittery stems, chenille stems. Also, uh, I got a happy mail, a card from my sweet friend, Christine in the UK. And look how sweet it is. I'm loving the leaves. I'm loving it. So sweet. Thank you so much, Christine. She put little flat back gems on here. So, so sweet. I love birdies. Well, I love all critters. And this is the back. It says Christine 2022. Really cute. I'm loving those leaves. I don't know if they, those are stickers or dyke or if she has to die for it, I'm loving those leaves. Really, really do. And look at that cute washi tape. And the inside is very pretty also. She makes such beautiful cards. Look at that. Very pretty. I think it's like a, th yeah, it's like a thing. It's a Thanksgiving card. Very, very pretty. Thank you, Christine. You're such a little sweetie. All the way in the UK. See, they make big cards in the UK. They make big cards. Okay. So that's it, my friends. You all have a great weekend and a great week next week. Thanks for stopping by. Thank you, Chill, for always hosting and inspiring uh, everybody. And Chill, I love... You know, uh, what is it... Uh, Imitation is the sincerest form of what? Admiration, something like that. And I love these so much. The, the minute she showed it, I'm like, oh my God, I got to do those. Oh my God, I've got, I just love them so, so much. But I made enough for a while, right? So anyway, thank you all. <clears throat> I'm looking forward to watching all of your uh, creations. I haven't, I've been on Instagram, but I haven't been on YouTube yet. So I'm looking forward to watching all of your videos and insp inspiration. And thanks for joining me. You all have a great weekend and be good and kind to each other and love and peace. Bye-bye.